Yo, what's going on everybody? You welcome back to another client tutorial for an absolute banger, probably number four. Um so everybody. Uh so 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 today this is a big tutorial episode, so make sure you do not skip this, okay? Now, I'm not gonna keep it going for any longer. Let's just get straight into the video. Uh, I'm gonna delete this because I was just testing stuff. Anyways, so create a new package called GUI if you haven't already done so for your main menu. Um, and then go into here, and we're just going to create a, um, we're just gonna create a uh, package um, called dot mod. And in here, um, we're going to create a new class called HUD mod. And this is probably the um, file with the most code, but you know, it's uh, it's gonna be the base for all of our, um, you know, whatever. So we're just gonna say Minecraft dot get Minecraft, uh, public Minecraft dot get Minecraft, so that we can you know use it more, um, and it's just gonna make coding a lot easier. Uh, so right here we're gonna say public font render fr equals mc dot font render obj okay so this is basically just saying okay well font render is fr now and then we're saying okay here is where font render obj is and just you know make sure font render is called fr from now on so public string name and this is going to be the mod name so we're just creating like basic little um things to help our constructor public int x and y uh, now here's comes the constructor so public so you can just do hud mod and create a constructor control space to do that string name oops string name int x int y um, so here's our constructor and this is super easy. So we're just gonna do this dot name equals name because we're saying, okay, uh, declare a name and it'll equal name. Um, this dot X equals X. This dot Y equals Y. Now, if you've watched Quick's tutorial or Eric Gold's tutorial, it's not gonna be anything like there's, I mean, it is, it's, it's obviously gonna have, um, oh, I didn't set the Boolean for enabled public boolean enabled um but it's gonna be like their tutorial obviously but it's not gonna be as advanced this is more of a tutorial so that you can kind of get a better grasp on java now obviously i've said this so many times and i'll say it again make sure you learn java formally but as of right now it's not always a horrible idea um to know uh how to code minecraft and then you can learn java that's actually what i did um honestly i'm not even that great at java i just learned and you know i understand the basics of it you know i used to ask really dumb questions in quick sort server uh, make sure you join my server by the way uh i just created one so i can help anyone that needs help uh so we're just uh creating some get method or not get methods but we're just creating a um honestly i don't even know what you call these uh but i but what they do is basically uh it's just a function or not a function it's a um i don't know what you call them but um you basically uh say okay this is an integer and we're gonna get the height and it's gonna return a certain amount um that's basically all they do so public void draw probably not gonna use this that much but it's nice to have it public int i don't actually know if we're ever going to use it but um yeah this dot y uh and we're just going to return whatever it is over here so this is not going to have a draggable hud now i know some of you might be like well i want a draggable hud and if that's the case then go watch quick's tutorial but I'm not going to make it a, a complete skit of his tutorial um, just because I want views. Um, what did I do? Oh. 
just because I want views. So I'm I'm making my own tutorial here. You know, it does use Quick's code, yes, but um, but it's not a complete skid, and I just realized what I did here, and it's not a complete skid, so um, you know, and it, it's not as uh, it's not gonna have as much things, but uh, it is my tutorial, so um. Yeah, set enabled boolean enabled and then this dot enabled equals enabled. Okay, I honestly don't know what I did here, but let's just open that back up. Alright. Yeah, anyways, so um that's all I wanted to clear up. But um, this is gonna be a nice client. I mean, it's not gonna be an absolute dumpster fire, especially for your first client, you know? Something to be proud of. You, you made your own client, so um, you, know, it sh you should be proud of it. Obviously, no one's first client is gonna be good until you really get a grasp on, on uh, making clients, but it's, there's always some, some place to start. So. Um, so this is a uh, HUD mod, and we're good for that. Now we can create HUD manager. Uh, this is not going to be long at all. Um, actually, it's going to be really short. So create HUD manager, and in here, um, we're just going to say public array list HUD mod. So we're storing all the HUD mods in here, and we're just creating a new array list for all the HUD mods. And, uh, yeah. Public test mod. So this is, we're gonna just create a test mod. I'm already putting this in here um, just because we're going to create one. Actually, you know what, why not? Uh, I'll just I'll just take it out because we haven't done it yet. That's, that might be confusing to some people. So we're gonna create a constructor. So I'll just do HUD manager. Uh, no need to type it out because why not when we have a constructor? Actually, we don't need to do anything right now because uh, we don't have a mod. Um, okay, so public. This we do need. This we absolutely need. Void render mods. Now, in here, we're going to make a for loop and for HUD mod. And we're M. So for every HUD mod in HUD mods, if M dot is enabled, okay, we're gonna do M dot draw. And we don't need an else uh, statement because there's really nothing to have an else statement on. Um, so. Um, here comes our test mod, and um, it's not too hard, so we shall do that right now. Um, so go ahead and create um, a new package. I guess you can call this like mods, mod dot mods. I mean, I don't know. Um, yeah create this called test mod in here extends HUD mod definitely not HUD manager let me get rid of this and we'll just create a constructor um, all right so in here just name uh, we can delete this and in here uh, make this um, whatever you want really I'll just actually I'll make it this is kind of be gonna be like a watermark so client dot instance dot name plus space plus client dot instance dot version and there you go and I'm just gonna make it at the top of the screen because this is usually where a watermark goes top left of the screen uh, okay so, um, actually, yeah, you can delete this. We don't need that at all. Um, uh, and you can leave that blank. 
because or you can leave the super there uh, we're not gonna need it um, so you can create a draw function so just do draw control shift or control space <clears throat> and uh, you have your draw so um, we're not really gonna be doing much in here uh, except drawing our um, our yeah we're not really gonna be drawing anything except a string so if I uh, draw a string with shadow um, we can just leave this as name because we've already defined declared our name there and we'll just say get X because uh, we're getting X wait was this oops control Y X get Y and oops get Y and uh, negative one because I'm just gonna keep it as white. Okay, um, so we can do we can we can keep that like that. Um, now, um, what we're gonna do after that? Um, we don't need to create anything. We just need to do get with and. We don't need this super here. I'm just gonna return fr.get string width. And uh, yeah, we can just leave it as name because we've already declared our name. <sighs> Get height. Return fr.find. Already there for us. All right, so that should be it. I lied. That is not it. Um, going to GUI in game, you can just Control Shift T it, but I already have it pulled up. And uh, search up Update Player List, just like that. And right where it says here, um, where we can delete this because I was I'm getting ahead of myself but um, all we have to do is public HUD manager HUD manager we do not need those there and then just go ahead and import that um, and then right under here um, HUD manager equals new HUD manager cool cool so, uh, go to GUI in game, and where you were, um, client.instance.hudmanager.hudmods.render, um, no, dot render mods, yeah, I don't know what I was doing, okay, this, leave this here. This is going to render your mods, if you couldn't tell. Go ahead and uh, start your game, and I will. we will see what happens, because it is going to be epic. Alright, single player, and in here, um, it is not rendering our mods, because I'm stupid! Yay! Give a round of applause for the smartest guy on earth okay uh, I should have just done this before cuz you know <laughs> it's me we're dealing with you know I forget stuff so um, terminate that if you haven't already and in our constructor we're gonna do HUD mods dot add and we're gonna say test mod equals new test mod and um, that should render our mods. Okay, sorry about that. All right, there you guys go. That's uh, gonna render your mods. And um, 
I will uh, show you guys how to add more in a little bit uh, in the next episode, probably. Um, but um, yeah, uh, that's how you uh, add mods to your screen. And um, sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm like texting my friend at the same time. But uh, my bad. So yeah, um, I'll show you guys how to add coordinates. Um, different things uh maybe armor status if i'm if i'm not lazy but uh yeah boys um uh yeah i'll show you how to add a pot counter too that's interesting um pot status pot effects too so um i'm not gonna keep the tutorial going on any longer um this is kind of a long tutorial but relatively short uh, kind of long for what i showed but um have a good one, and I hope you guys are pleased with the tutorial series. Join my Discord for help. Bye.